Hey guys, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. I'm The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I upload content on cooking, grocery hauls, farming, all kinds of things. And I would love for you to be a part of my family if you're not already. So please hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit that little bell and select all so you don't miss anything that I upload. Because sometimes there's some funny things in there. Um, today we're making a healthy meal. I know. Wow. What? I mean, my mantra or my, my motto is if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything and we're going to be healthy today. Yes, we are. <laughs> Okay, so yes, we're being healthy today. And if you happen to see a little gnat fly by, it's because I left a bag of okra on the porch and a box of strawberries. Yeah, and they're everywhere. These little gnats are everywhere. So, apologizing ahead of time. Um, but yeah, we're going to do something healthy today. We're going to make a taco casserole-like thing. And it is going to be packed full of veggies. I mean, packed full. Now, the recipe I'm giving you, it can be used as one of those lean and green meals. As far as some of the, I know some of the programs are using these lean and green meals. Don't use my measurements. I mean, you, I know nothing about these programs and stuff. So I'm just learning myself. So do your research if you're following one of these programs. I'm not even going to tell you how many leans, how many greens. I'm not going to tell you any of that stuff. I'm just going to tell you what's going in it and that it's healthy. So anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to get out everything we need and we'll get going. Okay, guys, my grandbabies are asleep. Let's get this healthy dish going. Let me show you. I'm going to go cut the TV off just a second. Um, this is 96% lean. So this is what we're going to use. It's a one pound thing of ground beef, 96% lean. And we will get three servings out of this. Okay, guys, I'm just breaking this up a little bit. Now, it may stick a little bit on the bottom because it is so lean. Now, like I said, this is three servings. I have got in the crock pot over here beside me um, cube steak and gravy for the rest of the family. Um, I will be eating the healthier meal tonight and so I'll get to eat on this three different times. Okay, we're just going to let this get to going and I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, I've got it going pretty good. It's not completely done, but it's getting there. So what I'm going to do is I've got some vegetables I want to put in here, and I want them to get soft with the, and I'll cook with this. So I've got right here, I've got about three-fourths of a cup of zucchini, and I've sliced it fairly thin so it'll soften. And I've got a cup of tricolored bell peppers. And that's going in here and we're just gonna let that cook with that so it'll and we'll put the lid on too in a little bit but we're gonna let this cook while the meat finishes cooking I mean look at that look how colorful that is all right so we're gonna let this cook and let the meat finish cooking and I'll bring you right back Okay, so if you're looking for some healthy recipes, I have come across um, a lady who cooks the lean and green meals all the time, and the name of her channel is The Gingham Girl, because she likes everything gingham, so it's The Gingham Girl. Um, she is actually on the Opt Optavia um, diet, and um, she does the lean and green meals. And so I have like binge watched her. I really enjoyed watching her. She also does try on hauls. She does the the boxes that come in and unboxes them. She does all kinds of things on her channel as well. But, um, and also I believe this recipe, even though I saw her make it, I believe it comes from Sandy's Kitchen. So I'll try to link Sandy's Kitchen down below. I don't know that I can find the Gingham Girls, um, 
video for this meal, but I can link her channel down below as well. So let's go check out the vegetables. I'm going to get the lid out and ready to put on here so they can cook some more in just a minute, but we got more stuff to add. Okay guys, so to this, sorry, I know I'm shaking y'all to death. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of taco seasoning plus one teaspoon. One tablespoon plus one teaspoon. So basically four teaspoons. Okay. And we're going to stir that around. And we're also going to add in a can of Rotel tomatoes. And we don't drain them. We're going to add them. That's where our juice is coming from. And if you need to add water to this, by all means, that's totally fine. See, look, this, y'all, this is going to be so, y'all haven't even, I haven't even finished. <laughs> but y'all, it's going to be amazing. Because look how the ratio to vegetables to meat. <laughs> I mean, it's mainly vegetables. I mean, doesn't that just look beautiful? And doesn't it look healthy? Oh, I'm trying to do better. But I know <clears throat> all you guys love my country cooking too. So, and hey, I'm going to be bringing back the um, church ladies' recipes too. Everything's been kind of crazy around here. All right, I'm going to add just a sprinkle of water and I'm going to turn it down and put the lid on it so the vegetables will soften and cook. And then we have one more, well, there's several things to do. But I'm gonna add just that's probably less than a quarter of a cup. Let me grab my lid. And we're just gonna turn that down and let that cook and let the vegetables soften. We have one more thing to go in here, then we'll transfer it to a casserole dish and I'll cover it. And just wait because I'm not ready for supper yet but right before it goes in the oven we'll cover it with some low fat reduced fat cheddar cheese that I'm gonna shred myself so we'll we got one more thing to go in here but we're gonna let these vegetables cook away and soften and I'll bring you back in just a little bit okay are you guys ready for what goes in next sorry my hair is a mess um, three cups of spinach. Spinach, baby, spinach. Like, Papa, watch out. Here I come. Spinach. It's not, I mean, how much healthier can this dish get? Really? I mean, really? So, let's, um, we're going to put the spinach in. Alright. And I like adding that little bit of water. I just... I just think that helps things. Now this spinach is going to wilt down. Alright, I'm going to put the lid on it to help the spinach wilt. And we'll pour it up in a casserole dish in just a minute. Okay, guys, you see my other little helper back here? <laughs> That's Levi. Okay. I've got Judah and Levi today. All right, so I have greased a small casserole dish. I don't even know what size this is because it's oblong, but I swear I'm putting it in. Thank you, Papa. You're supposed to say thank you. <laughs> he had the remote, and so Papa went to get it so he didn't lose it. And Levi said, because he'll lose it. He'll throw it in the trash, actually. And then Levi said, thank you. <laughs> like, Papa, you're supposed to say thank you. All right. Y'all, this dish looks so delicious. Now, it's lunchtime, and this is going to be supper. So, I'm not ready for this yet. So, I'm going to, right, I'm just going to cover it up. And then right before I get ready for it, I'm gonna to top it with some low-fat cheese, stick it in the oven for a little bit, 
and it's gonna be so good. Bryant's already been digging in and he says it's delicious. So, all right, I will see you when it's ready to bake this thing. It probably needs to be in a smaller casserole dish, but I don't really have one any smaller. So, this is what it is. Okay guys, so the boys are feeling a little better and they have destroyed my house, which is totally fine because I just am so glad they're feeling better. So, let me tell you, I am going to shred up a cup of this cheese. That's the wrong cheese. Oh no, it's not, it's reduced fat. <laughs> Couldn't see that. I was like, oh no, I got the wrong piece. Okay, so I'm gonna shred a cup of this. I know you've seen people shred cheese before, but um I have my little comfort chef tool here. And I'm just gonna go to town shredding. Won't take me long to get a cup. And we will be back in just a little bit. Okay guys, here's my casserole. And y'all, that is a bunch of cheese. Y'all, I am so excited about this casserole. Look at all those veggies in there. I don't know if I'm going to need all this cheese, but I think I'm supposed to have it. Good griefers. We're going to load her up. Load her up with that cheese. All right. Uh-oh. One of them don't feel good anymore. <laughs> okay, guys. This, I'm still not quite ready to stick it in the oven, so I'm going to stick the tin foil back on it and just wait just a minute. It'll go in the oven in just a little bit. Okay, y'all, here is that healthy Mexican taco vegetable skillet casserole, whatever. But So we're fixing to give it a try. We're going to see. That is packed full of flavor to be a healthy dish. I mean, that is delicious. So, don't forget, I'll link below the gingham girl, and I will try to find Sandy's Kitchen recipe of this and link that down below. This is some healthy eating right here. Nothing to be ashamed of here. There you go. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife and the if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything, but we're not frying tonight. We're eating healthy. Bye, y'all.